In this video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about reality shifting and why you should probably ignore TikTok for the most part. I don't know if you've come from TikTok or if that's how you learned, but in this video, I'll share everything you need to know. Pretty much if you just watch this one video, you'll know more than 95% of people about reality shifting. So firstly, what is reality shifting? Well, basically it's the idea that you can, by using your intention and you know focusing on a desired reality or a DR, you can actually shift your entire consciousness to a different reality or a different timeline. Anybody can do this as long as you have a focused intention, a desire, and it's kind of like you're trying to do it for a good reason. You're not trying to go and manipulate the world or use timelines to manipulate yourself into having lots of money or whatever it is. Okay, as long as you have a good intention for the benefit of humanity, you will be able to reality shift. So you might be thinking, okay, this sounds pretty crazy, but does it actually work? Like, can people really reality shift? And if you're kind of coming from a skeptical background, I know that you probably won't believe it's real, or at least you'll be kind of skeptical about it. However, I would invite you to consider the possibility that we already do it. Yeah, in every second as we go through our lives, we already reality shift by kind of deciding what to do in every given second. That creates or collapses a version of waveform reality, which is, waveform reality is kind of the infinite potential of all possibilities and timelines, and it exists in waveform reality as unmanifest or kind of potential. And then in every second, um, we've been doing this for our whole lives, by the way, even you, even if you're skeptical, right? This is what you've been doing. In every second, you then collapse that waveform or that kind of limitless potential and random things that could happen into a manifest reality or basically the experience you had your life and that is known as reality shifting because you are basically taking this kind of potential reality collapsing it down into something you can experience with your five senses in the holographic simulation version of the world so you kind of already do it what reality shifting really refers to is being able to change your timeline from one to another which is also something that you already do uh, even if you aren't doing it consciously. And this is the real kind of important part here. Reality shifting is basically bringing something that was subconscious to the conscious part of your mind. Subconsciously, we already decide our reality based on what we focus on our desired reality, even though we don't realize it's our desired reality. And it's to do with wave entanglement. So when you focus on something, even if it's something you don't want, you're giving it energy and you're kind of attracting it. Have you ever noticed that people who are like really fearful and scared of something, they will constantly be the victim in many situations. They'll constantly attract situations and experiences that match what they're focusing on. In the same way, somebody who is focused only on positive things and kind of uh, what they want, they will be kind of more lucky. Uh, that's the, at least the term that society gives them, right? They're lucky. They're not really lucky. Basically, they're just utilizing this rule that what you focus on, you will attract. Reality shifting is kind of like a step up from that. So that's kind of what it builds on. And it takes that subconscious process, which for most people, it's based on like your programming, the things you see in the media, the things that you are told will happen or you're told you want. That's the subconscious part of your mind that attracts those situations and experiences. Reality shifting is taking that and flipping it on its head and saying, hold on a second, I want to decide what I experience and I want to decide what my reality is going to be. So instead of leaving it to my subconscious mind, which is mainly, you know, operating from the programming it's received from the media, whatever you're told, society, parents and peers, you are taking that, throwing that away and saying, actually, I'm going to decide what I want and what reality I want. And so you make it a conscious process. And that's where the whole idea of scripting comes in, where you, you know, specifically write and describe your reality or desired reality. And so, yeah, you already do it. I'm going off track here. Let's get into the techniques and how it works, how you can do it and some tips. So firstly, and I want to make this very clear before I go into the techniques, is that your affirmations and mindset and specifically your beliefs, uh, like I said, your subconscious beliefs are incredibly important for reality shifting. So as you are listening to my voice now, just take a moment, take a deep breath, maybe even close your eyes and just tell yourself, I will shift tonight. And now open your eyes and slowly scroll down the page to the comment section and comment, I will shift tonight. And you're probably thinking, okay, I just won't do that. I'll just keep watching the video and, and I won't comment. That's fine, but when you comment something, when you either write it you know, on a piece of paper or type it out, you make it much more likely to happen. You make it more physical. So literally scroll down right now and comment, I will shift tonight. Because you might be thinking, oh, that's just what I want you to do to comment on my video. No, this will make it more likely for you. You can comment on my video or you can comment in a random document. It doesn't matter. But it's more likely to happen if you make it physical and write your intention down. All right, so the techniques. Now I am actually going to make a 
full video explaining loads of different techniques, pretty much all the ones I can find and research and put it on this channel. So subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Okay, so firstly, we're gonna talk about the hug technique. Now this is kind of an interesting one. It's a good one for beginners and it's not as advanced as some of the other ones like the Moz Moss or the staircase and the elevator, which we will get onto in another video. So the hug technique or the hug method is actually pretty simple. So you wanna close your eyes and imagine or visualize the desired reality, what you will see when you open your eyes in your new reality that you want to shift to, right? And when you do this, try and involve as many senses as you possibly can, your smell, taste, touch, sight, what you can hear, and even what you can feel in your body, like the energetic state and the emotional state that you will be in, in your new desired reality, right? Pretty important to make sure you get as many of those senses as possible because the more senses you involve the more likely it is to happen and now you need to focus if you weren't already you know focusing on this before specifically you need to focus on the emotional state and how you feel in the reality as you're doing that you need to go and kind of imagine somebody it can even be yourself actually uh, but it can also just be someone you know or love like a friend or a loved one and you need to go up to them and then hug them hence the name the hug technique now, what you might notice as you kind of do this visualization is you get a warm feeling in your heart center or your heart chakra, which is kind of in the center of your body. This is not a coincidence, and there is actually a lot to be said about the heart chakra in any form of reality, even the one you're in now. And that is that your heart chakra is a portal, a kind of a gateway for energy to come through other dimensions and into this reality. This is why you say things like, you should follow your heart, you know? When you walk into a room, you can feel the electricity or the vibe. This is all sensed through your heart chakra. And this is really important to be aware that there's a lot of focus now, especially on getting you to think and perform and act based on your head. Your head is very easily manipulated, very easily programmed and taken advantage of, especially by subliminals or subconscious programming, which the media and other entities use in a huge way. So the mind is so easily manipulated. You need to be using your intuition. Instead of thinking, you need to be knowing. And that comes from your intuition and from your heart. So I'm going off track again. So the heart chakra is kind of where you will feel this connection with the person. It can even be yourself that you are hugging in your visualization. Yeah, and then you basically just visualize yourself doing things with them, spending time with them. Maybe you go for a walk, just feel the energy and, and the connection with them. And it can be you, it can be a loved one, partner, family member, whatever. And then when you're done with that, you basically hug them goodbye and you then go back to either the waiting room or kind of this state between being awake and being asleep, or you just wake up in your bedroom and then get ready to shift into your desired reality. So that's the hug technique. And now we're gonna talk about one which is kind of uh, a bit special to me, and that's because this channel focuses on this, and that is the lucid dream method. Now, through lucid dreaming, if you haven't already heard, lucid dreaming is the the idea or the concept of being aware of the fact that you're dreaming while you're still asleep. So this means you can basically control it. You can uh, manipulate the dream, you can control and create dream characters, manipulate the weather, fly around and basically experience anything you want and it's all going to feel really vivid and real. I have loads of videos about this on my channel, you should subscribe, uh, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. Alright, so how do you use lucid dreaming to reality shift? Well, it's pretty simple. Firstly, you need to get lucid and that's probably the hardest part because if you haven't lucid dreams before you need to actually learn how to do it and that's not something you can learn overnight. So I'm going to share with you an, an incredibly effective way to do that in a second but firstly just for the sake of you know keeping this short and sweet you need to get lucid and this is the state where you know you're dreaming while you're still asleep. When you are lucid you need to make sure that you're also in control of the dream they're not the same. You can be lucid and not be in control. So being in control means you can decide where to go, you can uh, avoid nightmares. If something comes up to attack you, you can just use telekinesis to throw them away. You can fly yourself away. You can change the dream scene, change the weather, change everything. Okay? So being in control is not the same as being lucid. You need to be in control and lucid. When you have those two uh, kind of foundations, then you need to create or find a door. I've spoken before in other videos about lucid dream portals, doors, kind of gateways. It can be really simple. It can literally just be a door in the street. You walk up to it and while it's still closed, you tell yourself, when I open this door, I will be in my desired reality. And hence the term, the lucid dream uh, reality shifting method, because that's how you do it. So then what you do is you open the door or the portal, you walk through it, and hopefully you will see kind of some elements of your desired reality. But even if you don't see anything, even if you walk through the door and it's just an empty room, you keep telling yourself, when I open this door, I will be in my desired reality. And then even if there's nothing in the room, you then lay down in the room 
and you can find something, you can create something like a sofa, a bed, it doesn't really matter, you can even lay on the floor. And then you go to sleep in the room. Okay, so you've walked through the door, you've laid down, you go to sleep in the dream, which then should make you wake up in your current reality. And from there, one of two things will happen. Either you will wake up in your desired reality instantly, or you will wake up in your current reality, and then the next time you go to sleep will be, you will wake up in your desired reality. So one of those two things will happen. Now, if you're new, lucid dreaming is pretty difficult to do. Uh, it's not something you can learn overnight. That being said, I have created what I believe is the most effective program to teach you how to lucid dream. And it's not actually like the other courses and eBooks. It's based on people you know, I've done a lot of research into this and I've put together a video course with a whole bunch of bonuses that is specifically designed for you if you've already tried to lucid dream and you've struggled and you've not been able to do it. You've read other books, you've tried courses. If they haven't worked, this course is aimed at you to get you to lucid dream as quickly as possible. And so for that reason, even if you haven't tried those other books and courses, and even if you're completely new, it makes sense to start with this one because it's the most effective one and it's designed for people who haven't been able to do it before. So with that in mind, there's a link in the description. It's called the Lucid Breakthrough Course and I highly recommend you get it. And if you do, thank you so much. I really believe it will help you to lucid dream. So now I wanna go through a few basic tips on reality shifting. And this is also something I'll make a separate video for with even more tips, but this is just kind of the basics. To make sure this video is as complete as possible, I wanna give you these tips right now. So firstly, never use negative affirmations or programming, okay? There's enough negative programming out there already. You don't need to be holding yourself back. So what I mean by this is when you're describing this to friends, people you know, or even yourself in your mind, don't say things like, reality shifting is hard, I'll never be able to reality shift, it's just some crazy thing that those lucky few people on TikTok can do. By saying that, you're literally holding yourself back. And I wanna give a very quick example of how the mind can make what you say about yourself come true. And that is that there was this one kind of person who was told that they were told by their doctor they would have six months to live, right? They were given like a terminal diagnosis by a doctor. Because of that, their subconscious mind firmly believed that they would only have six months to live. They then, after six months, died. And it was only when they did the autopsy that they discovered that actually the doctor was wrong and there was nothing wrong with them. They literally thought themselves dead. And that is how powerful your mind and your beliefs really are. So that's an extreme example, but in terms of this, it's very possible that if you say things like that, like, I can't reality shift, it's difficult, it's, it's not working for me, that's literally the only thing holding you back. So you need to make yourself believe that you can do it. Next tip is to drink lots of water. There's a lot of reasons for this. Our bodies are more than 80% water. And for that reason, you need to be hydrated, especially your brain, which is kind of uh, one of the most important aspects for reality shifting is your brain and your focus. Your brain is more affected by dehydration than any other organ and system in the body. Even like a one or 2% drop in hydration will cause a 50% kind of reduction in your brain function. So your brain's gonna feel it first. Make sure you're hydrated and bonus tip, make sure you avoid fluoride in water. Don't use tap water, use a water filter because there is all kinds of crap in our water system, especially if you're in America, okay? Really, really bad to be drinking tap water and unfiltered water. If you can't find a good filter, then even bottled water is better than nothing. Much like lucid dreaming, don't keep focusing on the nights that you don't achieve success. So if you try and reality shift tonight, it doesn't work, ignore it. Completely forget about that failure and move on to the next one with the firm belief that you will do it. So literally tell yourself, okay, tonight's the night. Yesterday was a practice run, I wasn't really trying. Tonight I'm gonna try and reality shift. Even if you failed and even if you've been trying for a year, <laughs> literally your mind will make it true. If you believe it's difficult, you will find it to be difficult. If you believe you're gonna do it tonight, you're more likely to do it tonight. The next one is to I know TikTok is fun, but try and ignore most of the hype that you find on TikTok and just focus on the, the basics that everybody can kind of agree on. And that is that we can decide to create our own reality. We can raise our vibrations, stay hydrated, be positive, focus on what we want, and then manifest it in this. Really, it's just a holographic kind of simulation or illusion that we think is real and 3D reality, but really it's just an illusion. It's a literally like a virtual reality video game and we can decide what to experience in this video game. And uh, a lot of people are starting to realize that now and realizing they have a lot more control over their reality than people or the media want you to think. 
You should also try to use the same technique or method for a few nights in a row, at least for three or four nights. Okay, If you're switching up your technique and your method uh, literally every night, you don't give it a chance to work. You don't give it time to actually give you the results. So make sure you switch it up. And if you didn't comment earlier, please scroll down and comment saying, I will reality shift tonight or something like that. Use your own words uh, because that's, that's the way I would say it. Right? You need to use your own words, your own way of saying it, so that it becomes more powerful for you. So what I believe is one of the most powerful methods is actually the lucid dreaming method. Uh, combine that with like the raven or the staircase method and you'll be really, really likely to reality shift in, I would say, a few weeks, two or three weeks. So go and scroll down, comment that you will reality shift, say I will shift tonight, and then check out the description and have a look at the lucid breakthrough course. I really think that if you Want to reality shift, this will be very relevant and interesting to you. And by learning to lucid dream, you will much more easily be able to reality shift. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and a like, all of those things. And I'll see you next time.